Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and today I want to talk again about things that Netmarble is doing right in Marvel Future Fight. And this is not something that I thought I would be making, you know, basically back to back videos about, but I really have to give credit where credit is due. And whoever they hired, whoever they promoted, whoever they moved from a different department, or whoever just stepped up and took the initiative. Um, they've been hitting great hit after great hit, and this is just another one. These are small things. These are definitely not going to redeem the game 100%. Uh, these are not things that we can rely on long term uh, to indicate the game's success or continued enjoyment. By no means am I saying that the game is perfect, but these are the smaller things that you do that really show the community that you care and that you are invested in them because these things don't make money these things are not for the economic value of the of the game or the developers or the stockholders or whatever this is just for us to have fun and to laugh and to just get a kick out of this stuff uh, so it really does go a long way um, and it's not that hard to do but I want to just start with this at the very beginning, the April Fool's uh, super deals with Gwenpool. So at the beginning, of course, for me especially, they had to start with Wolverine. So we have Wolverine's kind of manicure. 5,000, or excuse me, 5 million energy uh, cost. Pretty expensive, I must say. Um, but they do include a pretty nice quote. What he does isn't very nice, but his nails sure are. I really like that kind of tweaked quote from Logan. Then we have Dormammu's cooling face mask pack and this is a classic Korean tradition for the guys and the girls to get their kind of exfoliation on especially in the nighttime especially with kind of themed face masks that have you know animal faces, uh, emoji faces, cacao faces and so on. Price 10 million gear kits a little bit more accessible I think for the veterans not a bad idea at all. Dormammu's kind of an underrated character right now, or I'm sorry, not underrated, but rather uh, underused. So this could bring him back into the meta potentially. Then we have Lunch with Tony Stark. This one, I don't know if this one hits home as, as well as some of the other ones do. There's no mention of Luna Snow, which is a disappointment. 20 million black antimatter, not very useful. So we definitely have an abundance of those right now. But hamburgers, I don't know. I don't think I'm really digging this one. And then we have Magneto's positive moving service. Pretty funny. He got the whole positive negative magnetism joke going on there. So very kind of uh, grade 5, grade 6 level humor. And then the most magnetic mover in the field. We're doubling down on the puns, tripling down on the puns. A hundred million uh, Mkron shards is just impossible to have. You can only have 2,000. So nice try, Netmarble, on that one. And uh, cash only. I expect you guys to take crystals. So that's the first thing I do want to talk about. I think it's great, as I already stated, that they are putting effort into these types of things and they're showing uh, an, a renewed kind of interest in the game. You do want to see these things uh, frequently and you do want to see these kinds of small attentions to detail and these small kind of celebrations for the players not to generate revenue um, regularly from the developers. In addition, more recently, I didn't cover it in a video, but I'll cover it now, they changed the text here. So it's no longer the Civil War or anti-registration, it is the Terrigen War, and then we have the Inhuman side and the X-Men side. My faction, the best faction. Again, very small change, but it's for the continuity, it's for the, you know, the actual flavor text and the relationship it has to the comics so now it makes sense should have been this way from the beginning but it's nice to see that someone is looking into these things and is paying attention we also have a limited gold event this is just great for all players this rewards free to play this rewards veterans and spenders and everybody so this is nice to see uh, and you know can't really complain about that at all and then we have the event quest just a bunch of free stuff uh, but I want to highlight some of the free things that you can get from this uh, these chests because again it shows their attention to the details and I'm, I'm pretty sure that someone out there in the dev world for Marvel Future Fight is definitely watching slash reading on the forums and the reddit um, I'm gonna open this material box I get a hundred energy that's fine I saved these April Fool's boxes so I could open them for you 
hopefully get one of the items that I want to talk about and then discuss the importance of it with you guys. So let's see what we get. Some ISO, some uh, Nornstones, some gear up kits, some energy, clear tickets. Okay, clear tickets, five star. Not, not bad, five star. Uh, XP chips, XP chips, a three star rank up ticket. So that the second to last one is what I was wanting to talk about. These chests have the possibility to get both three and four star rank up tickets. Now, normally Netmarble is known for giving away five and six star rank up tickets in events and during uh, pre-update quests and also for maintenance rewards. So you can see by my inventory the the disproportionate number of higher level uh, rank up tickets that I have. I actually have a majority of five star rank up tickets compared to anything else. I have like 10 of them, I think, or more. And then I have few six stars, but I basically have no three star and very few four star. And this is something that's actually really important because a lot of characters, especially for free to play players like Luna Snow X23 because of the event battle and how that was kind of botched. Um, but then more recently, Colossus with the uh, faction battle, they get stuck at two stars or three stars and they can't progress. And they have those five stars and those six star rank up tickets, but they can't use them because they have to bridge that gap of like, you know, 200 bios or whatever it is. So the fact that they specifically chose to put in three and four star rank up tickets really should come uh, as a huge kind of thank you from the devs to us. Uh, for our support and for our continued enjoyment of this game and that's their way of kind of giving back to us in a small way uh, it definitely needs to come later on with a big patch in the form of a game mode I think that is the final piece of the puzzle that we're missing but I think with the new involvement in the game from a kind of fun and uh, kind of frivolous but just for the enjoyment point of view with the April Fool's event with the faction battle with the limited uh, event and the event quest with the renewed uh, care that they're taking to make sure that they're giving us things in the chests that we actually want and that are kind of positioned to properly benefit the community uh, I think they're doing basically everything right at this point besides that last one with the game modes uh, character acquisition is still a bit of a dicey topic I don't think it's perfect but I think it's a lot closer to where it should be uh, as it's both profitable for them long term to continue making content for the game but it's also accessible for um, players in in, so, in one way or another in some form not necessarily all free to play and not necessarily all uh, kind of pay to unlock pay to obtain so I just wanted to touch on all of this and uh, you know, give my congratulations, my applause, because I do a lot of roasting, I do a lot of criticism of Netmarble and of this game when they do something wrong, and that requires and necessitates me to do the opposite when they do things right. Uh, I can't just take one stance and be negative constantly um, because it's unfair. Finally, I do want to touch on the two packs that we got here. Uh, I don't have great things to say about these, so that is my summary of them. I think both of them are a little bit undervalued uh, for their cost. I think they're a little bit too expensive or they should have included a little bit more in terms of the items. I think the $40 pack is a little bit better suited for the amount of um, crystals that you get. You get 3,300 crystals. The 3,300 crystals, if you compare it to what's in the recharge page, uh, you have to spend $35 to get the same number of crystals. So the price is comparable, but then you look at what you get, 60 bios and 90 Norn stones. Uh, and here instead, sorry, not this one, uh, here instead you get a six star rank up ticket in addition to 30 bios or 90 bi 60 bios and 90 Norn stones. So you can compare the four dollars for a rec for a six star rank up ticket. I think that's pretty good. Uh, it's not a bad deal overall. If you need it or not, uh, would probably be the difference between whether you get this pack or that pack specifically for the crystals. Um, so that one is okay, I would say. Uh, but the premium pack is, I think, where they kind of lost a bit of points uh, with all of the tier two advancement tickets that they're giving out recently. I don't see the need to include it in this pack and I think it loses its value especially when they're having a tier 2 advancement ticket sold at the same time. I, I really think that this was not well thought out. Uh, most players are just going to gravitate towards this purchase because it costs crystals, because you get crystals back and in total you're only spending 5,000 uh, or sorry 2,500 crystals 
after the, the rebate uh, to get a tier 2 ticket plus 300 uh, biometrics and 3 million gold. So if you compare that, it's only a difference of 2 million gold, it's 50 fewer biometrics, and then it's just a 300 Nornstone selector. And all that for $110 with a suboptimal number of crystals. I think if this had been 10,000 crystals, this uh, package would be a lot more appealing. I think if they had put in something different than a tier two advancement ticket, like a mega rank up ticket or something entirely different, it might have been better. Not too sure what they were thinking here. I think this one is a big miss, uh, at least in my opinion. Uh, and if you are looking to spend upwards of $100 on this game right now, your, your best bet is still either your VIP pack, depending on what pops up when you log in, or compare that pack, the VIP pack, because it's different for everyone, to the two-year anniversary pack. This is still the best bang for your buck. Um, the tier two ticket is basically equivalent to about a, a thousand Nornstones because the other items that you need from it are quickly uh, obtainable for most characters. So the fact that you get more Nornstone, Nornstones here, the Chaos ones, you get additional black antimatter, you get more crystals, it just makes this uh, a no-brainer and it's only $5 more than the premium pack for April Fools. So I think these two packs, especially the more expensive one, are definitely more on the Fools side of April Fools. But everything else that they did with this kind of mini update has just been awesome. So thank you to the devs or dev uh, who's putting in the work and making this game more fun for us. If you guys want additional examples of what Netmarble is doing uh, for this game, what the devs are doing for it, hit up Twitter. Go see some of my recent interactions with Netmarble because they've been tweeting back at me and we've been engaging in some pretty hilarious banter back and forth. So this is a stark contrast to the amount of communication that they had in the past this is definitely more communication than i've ever seen from them uh on twitter so that's definitely worth stating and it's definitely worth keeping an eye on for the future especially with infinity war less than a month away so let me know what you guys think of the april fools event and the, the hilarity and the the packs and the epic or event quest stuff subscribe if you enjoy the content and you want to support me and of course if you like what you see i hope to see you again tomorrow take care